On the edges of the Rohingya refugee camps, the trees are quickly disappearing as demand for cooking fuel rises. For youngsters like Fatima Kalam, the adverse effects of collecting and using firewood takes its toll on family members. We are without wood supplies and our hut is very hot, especially when we cook inside. I have to go into the forest to get the wood and it usually takes two or three hours. On the way, I step on many sharp objects and it hurts. In the hillside settlements, the depletion of the forests, including dug up roots, increases the risks of landslides. A cooperative of aid groups are aiming to supply at least 200,000 homes with a cleaner solution that will have ripple effects on the environment. The refugees are cooking on an inefficient mud stove that causes a lot of smokes, so that comes with a subsequent health hazard as well. So LPG is a clean fuel that will solve this issue. For some recipients of the new cooking gear, the added benefits might just put more food on the table. Natuan Mondul says in the past she had to sell some of her food because of a lack of firewood to cook it with. They have people who donate food supplies and other necessities. If I have extra donations, I can sell them in the market and use the money to buy more firewood. Sometimes I have to borrow firewood from my neighbor and it is difficult for me. As LPG distribution expands in the camps, aid groups are hopeful that it will ease the demands of a limited environment. Steve Sanford for VOA News in Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh.